Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and today we're gonna be talking about Animal Crossing and gaming. So, what I'm talking about is after the April 2020 update, what happens at the end of the game at Animal Crossing. And we're talking about time traveling, special events, um, the last fish you're gonna catch. So, let's just get it started right now. First off, I just wanna talk about the pros and cons of time traveling because there's a lot of things I just learned recently about. Um, I actually had to redo this video because there's so much things I just learned. Any of the upcoming events you cannot do in 2021. They're all based on 2020. So if you do time traveling, you should time travel back, but there's no harm in it. And let's say pros and cons is pros is time traveling. You can get exactly what you need uh, whenever you need them. So, um, the best time traveling is day four, day back. But even if you time travel a month, two months, three months, or every year and go back, everything is fine. Villagers just are fine with just a lot of weeds that's about it so there's no real consequence time traveling but there are some events that you can actually check out the only two events that are notable are birthday and new year so if you want to see those go ahead time travel there and time travel back and it's perfectly fine this video is about the end game so let's start talking about how to finish animal crossing in this current state so number one we're going to be talking about is the fishes and bugs and basically the whole museum how to complete the whole museum what happened when it's 100% complete and how do you do it so you already are seeing my past videos, hopefully. If you get uh, all the fishes, Vladis is happy and gives you a golden rod the next day mail. If you give him all the bugs, he gives no <laughs> but he'll give you a DIY of the golden net in the mail the next day. If you finish all the fossils, he gives, well, he's happy, but he gives no <laughs> after, like, he doesn't give you anything, so. And if you complete the art museum, nothing happens either, but he's happy, so whatever. Um, but let's focus on the, bugs and the fishes because you probably are asking when do i finish playing i'm not gonna spoil the summer the summer has the best gameplay ever 60 of the fishes and 63 of the bugs are available in the summer so i'm not gonna tell you how to do it there's videos out there i made one but with how to catch tags uh fishes why just use fish bait and if you're too nervous to catch fishes close your eyes and then when you hear it you jump on that's about it pretty simple but i'm gonna talk about the last part the fall winter when can I time travel to finish up the game? The six fishes I'm gonna list over here. The one that gave me the most trouble was Blowfish because I'm pretty sure the Wikipedia's dates are wrong. It's 9 p.m. the spawning, I'm pretty sure. Because I caught it pretty easily that, but if not, it may be a rare fish because Yellow Perch and the other fishes have spawned. All the other fishes had a really easy time to get. King Salmon, for example, just took a little bit more effort. It was a huge fish because sturgeon's the same area, whatever. The last fish you can catch is a smelt fish and that's available on December 1st. So if you want to finish fishes, just time travel to December 1st. That's when you finish all the fish. Just a note, the hardest fish in my opinion in the whole game was actually barrel eye fish. And the only advice I can have is go after the small fishes and just keep going fish bait like no tomorrow. That's the only way you can get it. Took me about 200 baits for that. Now let's switch over to the bugs. Everything was very standard, very simple. Just do the routines, you get there. The only one I had difficulty with was dung beetle. And that was the very last bug. And it's only available when it snows Animal Crossing, which is not December 1st, but in my game, it was the earliest was December 11th. So time travel to December 11th to get the dung beetle. All you have to do is see a snowball, kick it, and later on, a dung beetle will push it around. When you see a ball run it, when you see a ball push, boom, that's it. And that's it, you complete your museum. So I finished all this golden tools. What do you think golden tools? I think they all suck. I don't see it as a point. Golden slingshots, okay, breaks. Everything breaks, that's the issue. So um, even golden shovel breaks easily. Golden axe is terrible. A golden raw, golden, I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even care about the golden tools. Yeah, it's a nice achievement, but you're never going to really use the tool. I'll be honest here. So let's move on towards significant events and DIYs. So when the winter fall, winter comes again, a lot of events don't happen. No Halloween, no Thanksgiving, no Christmas, unless DLC comes in. If you don't have it, tough luck, and that's fine. Fall and winter, you guys can get all the DIYs for the fall items, like maple leaves, acorns, nuts, all you want. Sure, why not? My favorite was Snowflake, but Snowflake's a bit different, where you have to build a snowman. And the snowman is basically, you just have to go from, make sure the snowball's around your chin, the smaller one, and the ear top for the larger one. And pop them together and you get a perfect snowman but if you don't get a perfect snowman uh they get pissed off and the worst ones this one is the sarcastic one it's hilarious i just did they just kind of got sick of it but yeah basically give you a special uh large snowflake you use to make your diy's and i actually really like them so i did all the snowman ones so just an fyi for there but the major events i want to talk about is number one is birthday if you didn't celebrate birthday i strongly recommend you to see it if you want if you want to experience it 
is the best experience I've had in Animal Crossing or any game for my birthday. So um, I fast traveled for a year because my birthday was in February and I got kidnapped by my villager. He surprised me with my three favorite villagers. These are my three original ones, Puddles, Cherry, and Big Tom. So that was a big deal for me, um, seeing them just happy, chatting with them, it felt special. Uh, you made a wish and then you hit Pinata and you get cupcakes to come out and these cupcakes are used as gifts to give to other people so don't eat them unless you don't care about some villagers. After you finish celebrating, um, you guys make some fun times with your villagers, you head back to your home um, and you start giving out the cupcakes to all the villagers in town. Um, the only one that acknowledges your birthday is Isabel, everyone else doesn't care really. But when you give the cupcake, you get free birthday swag. This video clip shows all the swag, you get glasses, hat, table, table, uh, cake, all that stuff. It's pretty cool. After that, you can go hang out with Isabel, she'll acknowledge your birthday, it's nice. And the Kiki Slider sings a special birthday song for you and has special messages from villagers in your village. I'll probably put this part at the end credits for you guys so you guys can experience it a little bit more in detail. But I just want to catch up to the next part which is my favorite event. Um, this is the, probably the last event in Animal Crossing in this current version, which is New Year's. It's a New Year's Eve around the 10 minute mark and they announced that before the midnight, everyone gets down to town hall, chat up with your villagers, laugh with them, talk to them about, you know, all that's happening. Isabel gives you the best item in the game, which is the glow stick, which is better than the wand because you can go I actually love it a lot. It makes you feel like a tour guide. Nook gives you free poppers and sells you some swag if you want. And then the countdown happens. And that is the most magical moment. You can bring your friends to your village too. My best friend Kat came over. We experienced it together. It was the coolest thing. And I actually am excited for next year, New Year's. Also, if you time travel back and forth, you can get as many like glow sticks as you want, just FYI. But it is a surreal experience. And I strongly recommend you guys, if you guys want to time travel there and back, it is probably worth all the weeds that are gonna be growing in your time travel yard. And yeah, that's a quick summary of all the end game stuff you can do at Animal Crossing right now. I know DLC is coming out and I'm excited for that, but a lot of them are locked off based on date. And I also want to talk about time traveling where you need to use this in order to get things that you want to enjoy the game faster. For example, Celeste, Gulliver, uh, Red. Time traveling helps you speed up the process of getting materials you want because it's not a game for you to get locked off based on date. So use time traveling. So you get the opportunity to get what you want and enjoy it for the full maximum. Also, to let you know the other consequence of time traveling is just cockroaches. All you have to do is step on a cockroach in your house and it's okay, uh, but cockroaches do lower your home value. Also, it's weird, you can't catch cockroaches, but you know, no one wants cockroaches, so screw, screw them putting them in a museum. I guess Blyers just doesn't want to get involved with that. Pros of time traveling are literally, you can go to any day you want without any consequences, none of your villages move out. You just get a lot of weeds, but you get what you need to do and you can come back anytime you want. Nothing's affected really. And this helps speed up the process. So if you guys are already done catching all the fish and the bugs you want, go ahead a month or two, get new ones, get back to the time present if you want, or just keep going. But you can go back anytime for the next DLC. That's what makes Animal Crossing great is you control the pace of the game. I know it's not the right way, but it's built in a way that you control the game. And that's what makes it exciting. I never realized how much fun Animal Crossing could be until all my friends joined me on the island. We did all the amazing events and we had a great time. I have to say this is the best game of 2020, if not the best game I've played in the last two years, I think? Three years maybe. It is by far the perfect game for what's happening outside. And especially with the New Year's event, it kind of closed off the door for you with all the memories with all your villagers saying, look, there's a lot that has happened in our lives in the last year. And probably by then when you play Animal Crossing, you'll experience so many memories with your villagers. And I strongly recommend anyone to, who hasn't played Animal Crossing before, you should play. And if you play Animal Crossing, you should have your friends because that's another layer of gameplay that's insane that even though it seems simple, is actually incredible. So 
So yeah, that is my quick recap of literally the end game of Animal Crossing. And yeah, I'm excited for the next DLCs because it's going to add to the game. But again, the game is built towards you. You time travel because it's the pace you want to go to. You enjoy the way you want to. But more importantly is make sure you make memories in this game because even though I told you about all those things, all the seasonals, all the events, everything you do in this game is going to be something you're going to be happy about later on. And you can't say that for a lot of other games because a lot of other games is the end game, you move on. This one's kind of, you live in a town where it's basically the reflection of your hard work. Just like for me, when you see my, my city, when you walk in, you see the robot hero I worked so hard for to build, which is the best thing in the world. Also the dinosaurs I made and also the naked man. Good memories. <laughs> So yeah, thanks again for watching. Hopefully this video does help you guys out knowing when you guys can time travel to finish up all the things you need to get. Just enjoy the game the way you want to and you'll have a perfect time. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time.